Hello Sumo fans and welcome to another episode of the Sumo News. Thank you for joining me as I bring you this breaking news in the Sumo world today, just as we approach the July Basho. The whole of Taganaura Bear will be Kujo for Nagoya, as 15 Rikishi have tested positive for COVID-19 and the Oyakata has decided they cannot attend and has requested the NSK excuse them from Nagoya, which means, of course, everyone's favourite bear, Takayasu, as well. This news comes as a wee bit of a surprise, as even though we knew Takayasu had tested positive, as I had posted in our Sumo short news, link in the description, we thought it a mild case, and by the time Nagoya rolled around, we would see a negative result from him and go ahead with the basho. But sadly not. So gutted for Takayasu as I know how much training he put in and how he took full advantage of the joint training sessions last month and I'm sure he's gutted as well. So we hope he gets well soon and is rested for the next Basho in September and we also wish a speedy recovery to all members of his hair affected. In other news we thought worthy to share with you all today is that the former Shotenro Taishi who has been Kitajin Oyakata since his retirement from in-ring action, has now switched to the elder name of Nishikijima. The Nishikijima name once belonged to the former Asashio, who is, of course, the former Takasago Oyakata. He switched places with the current Takasago Oyakata, the former Asisekiru, and continued as a consultant. He had planned to do so for five years until forced to quit when the Asanayama scandal happened and he was throwing Asanayama under the bus, but all the while it was revealed he was also breaking COVID protocol regularly. So it was now a vacant elder name snapped up by the former Shotenro. His former name of Kitajin now becomes vacant, and guess who owns that? None other than our Endo. Does this mean Endo may contemplate an early retirement? I mean, as long as he is staying level where he is and keeps doing well, He's in a comfortable position, so unless injury happens or some unforeseen circumstance, I see him going for a while yet. On the other hand, he has got a cushy spot awaiting him when he does, so it is possible that he may not push as long as expected. What I do want to know is what you guys think. Do you guys think we may see a more relaxed endo knowing he has an after sumo career covered and may choose a year or two less on the clay? Or will he plod on and do his best until he has to retire? Let me know in the comments, Sumo fans. And guys, that's it for this episode of the Sumo News. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. And remember, like, subscribe, hit that bell. Oh, what a nugget! What a nugget!